Hey everybody, Jason here with GDT Basics with the video question line. Uh, today's topic is control on multiple profiles. And the question is from a student, if I have, for example, a plate with two identical star-shaped cutouts on it, could I just call out two times profile on one of the shapes? So I have this example here, uh, not necessarily two star-shaped cutouts, but two irregular shaped cutouts nonetheless that are, are identical. Um, we know they're identical because of all the basic dimensions here you see have two times on them. And we have a call out here with a profile of two times. So the short answer to the question is yes, you can control two identical shaped cutouts with one profile of a surface call out if you put a multiplier of two times in front of it. So let's dig in a little bit deeper to try and understand what this feature control frame is controlling and how it's controlling both of these profiles. Um, first thing to note here is that it is two times. So on your inspection report, you'll see two different line items, right? So you'll have to have, um, if you balloon this as um, you know, the first one, it'd be 1A and 1B. And you might have to identify this as profile A and profile B. So there would be two line items, right? Not one, not one reported deviation. Um, A would have one reported deviation and B would have another reported deviation. So we have a multiplier of two. We know we have two line items on our drawing, or our, sorry, on our inspection report. Furthermore, if we're going to analyze this feature control frame, the best place to start is to read it from left to right. Um, so starting way over here with the uh, profile of a surface modifier, we see the all around circle at the elbow of this leader line. That tells us that we're going to analyze this surface continuously until it wraps back around itself. So all of these surfaces, this pattern of surfaces is going to be analyzed because we know we have an all around modifier. So this pattern of surfaces, and oh, by the way, there's two of them. So these two pattern of surfaces are being held with profile of a surface to a total tolerance value of 30 thousands with respect to datum feature A as a primary datum, datum feature B as a secondary datum, and datum feature C as your tertiary datum. So what does this mean? Um, let's analyze both of these pattern of surfaces, right? So again, these are pattern of surfaces, kind of like we would have a pattern of holes, right? It's just we have a surface here, a surface here, surface here, surface here and here, and we have a round surface here. Um, you know, so it's just a big pattern of surfaces. So if we're going to analyze it, we know that we have a tolerance zone of 30 thousandths. That tolerance zone is going to be distributed equally about true profile. And again, true profile is identified by all of these basic dimensions. So the drawing should have enough basic dimensions on it to define the true profile or the ideal location of all these profiles. And the tolerance zone will be equally distributed about that. So we'll have tolerance zone that would look something like this, inside and outside, away from true profile. And the distance between these profiles controlling the true profile, or the, uh, the actual profile, is going to be 30 thousands, right? So that's our, that's our tolerance zone, 30 thousands. And as long as any one of these elements doesn't deviate outside of that tolerance zone, it passes profile. But we know since datums are involved, we're gonna be doing some sort of locating and orientating, right, back to the datum reference frame. So we know that these pattern of surfaces are located to datum A, located and orientated, sorry, to datum A, B, and C. Well, we know that this surface, if you're looking into the page, is gonna be perpendicular to A, that back surface. And it's also gonna be located half an inch away, if we do our math with our basic dimensions, half an inch away from datum plane B. But we also know that datum plane C is over here being referenced, but there's not much about this specific surface and this pattern of surfaces that can be located, right, with respect to, to C. But that's fine, we have other features that will be located to C, like this surface here. So we know that this surface is gonna be located away from datum plane C, so hopefully that makes sense and clarifies it a little bit. And again, this one inch dimension is not locating this pattern of surfaces from this pattern of surfaces, right? It's just helping us identify true profile. We're still locating this pattern of surfaces to A, B, and C first, not necessarily to this pattern. We're only saying that this pattern of surfaces right here is located to B as well as to C. And this one is to B and C as well. 
Our goal is to be your best source for GD&T information online. It's important to us that everyone involved in engineering and manufacturing have the chance to learn and better understand GD&T on your prints. We have many free resources to help you get started on your learning journey. Subscribe to our GD&T community using the link in the description below or visit our website. Test your knowledge with our GD&T and print reading quizzes. Download helpful charts and access articles written by our training experts.